There you go. Speaking of Burns, we have a D-backs guest right now. We started the show by saying, you know what? Even Wolf can't mess up this show because our lineup is so good. It is Wolfly proof. <laughs> and basically, for the last three and a half hours, I've been doing to you what the D-backs did to baseballs last night. Oh, gee. And so now let's just bring someone else in. Let's just stop the beat down. Uh, we thank Christian Walker for joining us here on Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Uh, Christian, for all of us who will never hit a home run, and my middle name is Warning Track Power, let's be honest. What does it feel like when a ball comes off the bat and you know it's heading out of the park? What is that feeling like? Oh, it's the best, the absolute best. Um, hard to explain, um, but it is such such a good feeling. I think because it's so hard. You, you understand how difficult it is. And, you know, so many times you get that cookie down the middle and you, you pop it up or roll it over and um, you were in a spot to handle it and then – you know, for a couple of days, you're thinking about it and working on it, and then it shows up again in the game, and you execute it. Um, it, it feels it feels so 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 good. So, Christian, 464 feet. That's what they said. You hit one of those balls Man, last night. Big homer. What, what's the farthest you've ever hit a ball? Do you know? Do you remember? Oh, uh, that's that's pretty close. Um, so, since the humidors have been added to the stadiums, I think that's for sure the farthest. I don't. I don't know if I got much more in the tank. That was that was all barrel there. Um, I think in 18, 18, I might have one a little bit further than that. Maybe like four seventy something, four seventy two. <laughs> but but it's it's up there. Uh, it's 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 probably the, the best one. The best is when you know it goes so far out, and the fans are like oblivious. There's some guy with nachos because he's like, "There's no way a ball's gonna come out here." Like I'm in a safe zone. Do, do you ever watch the replays of your own home runs a little bit later on the big board? I know like a lot of players in football will score a touchdown. They'll look up at the jumbotron and to see if there's a defender behind them. Do you ever use the big screen in that way? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, baseball a little little bit slower, so like the tempo is different. And when when you know it's gonna be out, there's you know, less urgency to like get around the bases and, and you, you want to watch it a little bit more so you, you can watch it land. But um, yeah, that's that's one of the more fun things is is watching a ball land where you can tell the fans weren't expecting to get a ball. It, it's a uh, it's a cool thing. Do you have a favorite home run, Christian, that you remember right now? You've got one hundred and thirty six home runs. I'm looking at your stats right now. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, there's there's a couple. um it's hard to say a number one for me. It's uh, it's like the late inning game changer, momentum changer. You know, you the three run lead, you hit a three run homer, or, or three, you're down by three, and you, you know, you tie it up with a three run homer in the eighth or something like that. Like like your last chance, maybe your last at bat of the game, and the team's got something going, and you make it count. Um, recently, the the walk off against the Dodgers was was super rewarding um, here at home. Um, you know, I've, I've faced Chris Matt a bunch. He, he seemed to have my number. Um, so it was cool to make an adjustment, but more importantly, um, you know, come through for the team and, and help us win a game that, that felt like we, you know, it was a must win situation. Christian Walker is our guest here on Arizona sports, the local sports leader. They say the harder it comes in, the harder it goes out. Right. And all this exit below and everything. But when you get a, a hanging slider, like you did in the third inning and you jack it 464 feet. Is that because it's just a perfect swing, perfect rotation, weight transfer? How, how do you explain that sort of di distance on a breaking ball? Yeah, for sure. That's a good question. Um, yeah, for sure. Like harder in, harder out makes sense. Uh, the challenge there is is maintaining a low effort level and not matching the energy. And, you know, sometimes the guy's throwing 100 and you feel like you got to swing real hard to catch up to it. Um, and you forget that let me just put it on the barrel and, and let the velocity supply the power. But I think there's a thing with breaking balls um, where the spin, the spin off the bat is cleaner. I don't know how or why that makes sense or, or what happens, but it feels like coming off when you hit it, like it feels like it's spinning faster. It's spinning harder, um, right? Like the reverse, right? If it's something's coming in, and you hit it, it's going to, it's going to, the spin's going to change direction and reverse the other way. And, and there's something with a breaking ball, um, just like how it's spinning and, and you match it and it, it just flips the spin and, and, you know, you can square up heaters, but because they're moving quicker, I think they have a little less time on the barrel and it's, it's, it's harder to square them up. Um, but yeah, the, the sliders for me personally, the, the breaking balls tend to tend to go a little further. Christian, I know I've talked to you in the past many times here, but are you superstitious? I don't remember if you, you said yes or no to that. Are you superstitious? Uh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Within reason, like, like, like most of us for sure. Okay, so why in the world would you let Jock Peterson use your bats? <laughs> He's the best hitter on our team. What do you mean? <laughs> that's that's the that's the superstition. I'm gonna let him use it and let him rub off on my models, so I get his good luck. What is going on with that, Christian? I mean, I laughed hysterically when I heard he doesn't. I heard you say actually he he uses everyone else's bats. He doesn't use his yeah. own bat. It blew my mind. Yeah, there's um. There's, there's certain models out there that are all similar, right? Like like me and him, we both swing like a thinner handle, big barrel, a um, little bit end loaded, um, but but they're all like they're all similar. There's little little variations here and there, um, but I, I say like there's there's like two camps. There's guys who use their bat and only their bat, and it's one model, one size, one colorway. They pine tar it the same way, they tape it the same way. It's like they're rigid to that. And then there's other guys who. I fall into it sometimes too, where I bring three different models down to the dugout with me for a game. And it's like, you know, depending on the pitcher, depending on how I'm feeling, one of them might feel a little heavier. One feels lighter. Um, you're just, just looking for something. It's, you know, it's the same model, but a half ounce here, a half inch there. I think, I think it just switches it up to, to change the feel enough to make you feel confident again. I think for me, I want the bat to feel light and it, it's a hard line to walk because I like a big barrel. So, you know, trying to get a, a nice, a nice big barrel on the bat, but, but still be able to like, I could swing it hard and I don't want it to swing me. So, you know, it, it's cool to see uh, a successful hitter like Jock, um, you know, have some freedom and forgiveness and, and be like, yeah, I'm going to swing this today. And, and he trusts himself so much that it doesn't matter what he puts in his hand. He's going to find a way to hit it hard. Yeah. And he hit it hard. No yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Christian Walker is our guest. So, What's the mentality of this team right now? Somebody asked Tori Lavelle earlier in the week, a media guy, some blowhard like us, said, you know, Tori, with all the injuries, as you guys try and tread water, he us. said, and, and he said, he said, no, no, we don't try and tread water. But at the same time, there's no denying you guys are really injured, missing your top three starters. So what is the mentality in the clubhouse right now? Yeah, it's one of those things. It's like you're aware of what's going on around you, but – the question is, what contributes to winning tonight? Um, you know, do we show up and, and walk around with our tails between our legs because we're injured and some things happen that were out of our control and now we're not in a position to win tonight? Or, you know, is it like, so what, let's win anyway? Um, and and that, that kind of mindset, it's like, yeah, we, we miss Merrill and Gallon and, and can't wait for Erod to come back and, and join the team. And uh, Alec, hopefully here soon, and Perdomo just came back, right? Like, it's it's hopeful and it's motivating, but in the same sense, it's like we got a game tonight in in five hours that we have to figure out a way to win. And you know, you wish those guys were out there, but in the same sense, like they don't want they don't want us feeling bad that they're not out here either. They want us to play with a fire under our butt and 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 come out with our you know with with everything and, and not holding back. And um, you know, it's it's one of those things. You're, you're aware of it, but also you want to keep yourself in a spot to win games. And and if that's just saying. Who cares? Let's win anyway. Then, then that's the mentality, and and I think it's it's a nice challenge. It's 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 cool to know that we're going to continue to get better as the season gets on, and there's still a lot of baseball. And and you know, it's like yeah, we haven't played the best baseball that that we know we're capable of, but relatively around the league, we're you know we're we're still in striking distance, depending on how you look at it, and that's all you can ask for. And Christian, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate your time as always, buddy. And you're having a great season. And I can tell it looks like you're in a good spot right now. So thank you, man. Really appreciate your time, Christian. Thanks, Christian. Always entertaining. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys. Okay, man. I mean, honestly, last night was like a preview to home run derby over All Star Weekend. I mean, those were three massive home runs exactly and once again um you were talking about this earlier i believe it, it looks like christian walker is in a good spot right oh, yeah. now does it not paulie do you think he ever There's so many ebbs and flows in a season for a baseball player you, you know the end of the natural robert redford you know he says pick out a winner johnny yeah. you think they ever do that with the bats do you think they ever tell oh, the I bat boy so. pick one out for me he basically just yeah oh. yeah somebody's picking it out isn't that right jock you know what um if only, if only Christian knew that you were about to compare home run hitting to wedge busting. So thankfully, you did not do that. I know. Yeah. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.